My name is Mary Poffinroth, and I'm an adjunct professor of biology. Today, we're going to be discussing the cell theory. Simply put, the modern cell theory states that all living organisms come from cells, and these cells originated from other cells. Also, all of these cells contain hereditary information that's passed from cell to cell through cell division. And lastly, all of the energy flow of life occurs in the cell. In 1838, Theodore Schwann and Matthias Schleiden we're enjoying some after-dinner coffee, talking about their studies on cells. It has been suggested that when Schwann heard Schleiden talk about the nuclei he was observing in his plant cells, he was struck by the similarity of the things he was seeing in his animal cell studies. The two scientists rushed back to Schwann's lab to take a look at his slides. The very next year, Schwann published his book on his findings on both plant and animal cells. However, it was completely devoid of any acknowledgement from any other scientists, including Schleiden. In his book, Schwann laid out three hypotheses, two of which were actually correct. One, that cells were the unit of structure, physiology, and organization of living cells. And two, that cells were actually a dual existence. One, that they were an individual entity, but also that they were building blocks of larger organisms. Rudolf Virchow would then add an integral piece to the puzzle with his observation that cells replicated themselves through division. And he added to the cell theory that all cells arise from pre-existing cells. It's important to note that the cell theory predates many large advances in biology, including Darwin's theory of evolution, as well as Mendel's law of inheritance. Today, using much more sophisticated tools of observation, we continue to explore the vast complexity of the cell. Thanks for watching.